big days across the country canceled because of the coronavirus pandemic. We're talking about weddings and events that just take months and months to plan. So what can you do when your venue or photographer can't make your newly scheduled event? Joining us now is Andrea Sager, small business attorney and a serial entrepreneur to bring us some clarity. Thank you so much for being here, Andrea. Thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be here. So what can couples do when something like that happens? Well, the first thing is to check the contract. Hopefully, the photographer or vendor, whoever it is, has some type of clause that will help protect both parties. So, number one, you want to check to see if the photographer or vendor will have backup of some sort. If there is not any backup of any sort, then you want to have a plan, have a plan in place that you bring to the vendor. Because if you just say, hey, we just want our money back, if that's not allowed in the contract, well, then the vendor's not going to be happy about that. But in my experience over the past six months, if you come to them with a plan and a solution, then it is much more likely to work out than just coming to them and asking for a refund. And this is obviously not the couple's fault or the businesses with coronavirus. What can both of them do to protect themselves? Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that both parties are going to be protected. Hopefully the contract has a force majeure clause, which means that neither party is liable to the other if something like COVID happens. However, if that provision is in the contract, then that means both parties possibly, number one, the couple should get their money back. But on the other hand, the photographer, the vendor, they're kind of, they're out of luck. They don't get that money. They obviously can't make up the date because the event is canceled all around. And then if that provision isn't in there, then that does help out the actual couple because they automatically get a refund without having to reschedule. If the force majeure clause is in there, they may be required to reschedule before getting a refund. And what do you do when you can't find a compromise with business owners? Gosh, it's so tough. Uh, unfortunately, if you can't come to a happy medium, then the couple may be out of luck with their money. So, and again, it depends what the contract says. If the force majeure clause is in place and it favors the vendor, then the couple has to actually reschedule to a date that works with the vendor. However, due to COVID, I've seen more and more vendors that are willing to, you know, get another same type of vendor to fill their place. And they're kind of just filling in for each other to help each other out as much as possible right now. But again, they don't have to do that. So if the couple can't reschedule with the date that works for the vendor, then unfortunately the couple is out of that money. Yeah, would you say that they kind of both have to understand each other and I mean work with each other to get this final product done, the big event? Yes, it's it's such an unfortunate time, especially because the, the vendors, the photographers, the florists, this is their entire business that's being completely wiped out. And then the couple, I mean, that's, probably the biggest event, one of the biggest events of their entire life that, and one of their biggest expenses that is just possibly they're losing out on all of their money. Gotcha, it's like getting insurance, right? For your car or your <laughs> home, you have to be prepared. <laughs> yep, exactly. Have you seen a lot of wedding cancellations during this time? Oh my gosh, so many. There's been so many cancellations. And another thing on the wedding venue, they're being held responsible for going over capacity when they tell the couple, hey, you are limited to this many people. And you also wanna check the contract to make sure if you as the couple go over the capacity and that venue gets cited, you may be responsible for that fine because the venue has told you and they may be trying to enforce it. But if you have more people than are allowed by law, they may hold you responsible for that citation and that fine if there is one. Oh, not what you want to get on your on your big day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's a tough time for everybody right now. Where can people go to find out more or get some more legal advice? Yeah, you definitely want to check with a small business attorney. You, my, my, the easiest way to get a hold of me is on Instagram, actually, at Andrea Sager Law. And we are constantly helping vendors or couples with their contracts, figuring out how to either get out of their contract or how to come to a happy medium to make everybody happy. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Andrea. Thank you.